Sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani Sensei? In the investigation, they won't tell me what they've got against you. Birds are the only thing we'll have. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Where did you and Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. When did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him, dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a... You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded pub? Yep, Amor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. The club. And he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. I'd have two if I was a cop. What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Batter ran like the goddamn wind, though. Do you have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Seen something, though. Who's the detective in charge of the case? Kuroiwa. From organized crime. Shintani Sensei is probably real familiar with him. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Kyori murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going then. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later.
And stay down. Excuse me. Yeah, come on in, friend. I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? Psst. I make it a point not to remain specific, you know? You get a lot of customer. Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning. And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, I'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hey, you're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonico 10 the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic Go 10 on the night of December 3rd. <sighs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic Go 10 on the night of December 3rd. Nobody pays attention to me. So I'm not going to pay attention to them. I don't have much more to say. I mean, look at me. When you get this old, you're gonna have trouble remembering faces, too. doing this.
Really, guys? I mean, look. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something- By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Thanks for your help. Yo. You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out, Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyori clan murders. You mean, that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good.
What's up, Shintani? Morning, sunshine. I'm on Nakamichi Street. Yeah, and? You know Majore? Little cafe, killer coffee. Come here. Another impromptu meeting? Don't whine. I thought you liked keeping busy. Round one, let the action begin. Go! Round one, let the action begin. Go! <laughs> Round one, let the action begin. Go! <laughs> Thank you.
wins. <laughs> Round one. Let the action begin. Go. <laughs> Round one, let the action begin. Go! <laughs> Hey, over here. Take a seat. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sauna Go 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from Amor. Hamura and Kuma are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep. Got a name, too. Akira Murase. Another Kyori. Word is, he has left Kamurocho interrogated by the cops. Look at things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. 
Amara can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. Or later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this had EM, meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. Are you? You need something? Actually, I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? About December 3rd. Oh, I had that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right. I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ah, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help.
Not a wise choice. Really, guys? Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's... well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A uh, lost hat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. What do we have here? You already have the Chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh. I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie, I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Hmm, 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh, Club Amour. Great. Let's try Ara and Club Amour. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope. Just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only ten minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. In a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? 
<laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. ありがとうございました。See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amor? <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not really. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. <laughs> 